I got a whole bunch of people asking me how this works, where I got it, yada yada, etc. So let's let's dive in. This is a Soxlet extractor, S-O-X-H-L-E-T. The process in which you use it is called soxylation or continuous heat percolation. The advantages of this is that you can create tinctures lightning fast, so long as the ester or the element that you are trying to get from the herb is heat tolerant. It can also be used in a process called decarboxylation, which is where you're removing carbon molecules from your plant material. Got that question quite a bit. Essentially, you have a heat mantle. I like to use an electric producing heat mantle because an open flame is kind of risky whenever you're using flammable solvents. You have a water pump here. This water pump pumps ice cold water up into what's called a condenser. Without this condenser here, whenever this comes to a boil and starts to evaporate your solvent, it would run up and out the top, causing an eruption of flammable liquid. Hence why a heat mantle that is electric rather than open flame is worth its weight in gold. You can use this unmonitored. Essentially, as long as I have enough ice to continue cooling, then I will be able to just have this run in a perpetual loop. So whenever this starts to boil, your solvent starts to evaporate up and into this chamber where it spills out into your extraction chamber. That gas spills out from here and hits this condenser coil, which takes it back to a liquid form, dropping it down through your minstrum. Minstrum is just a fancy name for your plant material. So what is the advantage of a Soxlet extractor versus the old traditional way of soaking herbs in a spirit? Well, first off, time. Soaking herbs in a spirit typically takes anywhere from a month to three months or more. Utilizing a vacuum chamber alongside of heat and the pressure that builds up inside of here strips all of the esters out of your plant material in just hours. Typically, I will run my plant matter for several cycles until I see that what is being extracted is turning clear and no longer has any pigmentation. I find that that process typically takes about three hours. You can see the gas just now hitting the chamber and there is the reaction. This also allows you to be very accurate with your ratios. I have 1000 grams of solvent here. I have 50 grams of mullen here. Right now this is a 20 to one ratio, but you have to keep in mind the efficiency of this tool. When this is all said and done, I can remove this plant matter and I can run the plant matter through water, thus getting the water soluble and the alcohol soluble aspect of the material. That's called making a dual extraction. But what I can also do is reload this chamber with fresh material, thus concentrating using the same solvent as before. With enough time and effort, you can actually get it to where your solvent is outweighed by the amount of material that is suspended within it. And all of this is taking place incredibly fast. Because 1000 milliliters is 33 fluid ounces, if you're doing two ounce containers of tinctures, then you can get 16. Uh, and if you're doing one fluid ounce containers, you can get 33. Faster tinctures, much stronger tinctures when you break it down into layman's terms. Now I put one of these on my Amazon wish list, which is in my bio. No, no, not so everybody can go and buy me one. Hey, if you want to, but because I want you to see the exact link for the one that I got. This costs with shipping about $180. The heat mantle, I suggest getting a digital output, that way you can get the exact temperature. Cost you about 200. Make sure you get the size of the flask that you're ordering, 1,000 milliliter. Armatures cost about 25 a piece, and you will need two. Pump cost about $20. You're gonna go through an absolute butt ton of ice. I recommend getting a deep freezer. You can fill up a five gallon bucket, put it in there for two days, and you'll have a big brick of ice. You can set that brick in here to melt, drill a spillway, Cover it with vacuum grease so it doesn't leak. Run it to your sink. You can also extract the oil from all these different plants just by simply taking this after a few cycles. Dump it out into a glass pan. Get yourself a small heater with a built-in fan and put it over top of it. The heat and air movement will blow away your solvent until you're left with oil. Please, any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. I'm sorry the video was a little bit longer, but I hope you stuck all the way through it. I love every single one of you and I hope you stay wild. Love you.